Well, it was just a few weeks ago when Texas was hit, of course, with that major deep freeze, which many Texans are still recovering from today. But they're not the only ones. As two on your side, Nate Benson reports, that major weather event is having an impact here for a manufacturer in western New York. 85% of the polyethylene made in the U.S. is made in Texas. Well, why does that matter? Because polyethylene is the most widely used plastic in the world. And without Texas shipping any of it out because of the deep freeze, we might be seeing a plastic shortage, and that'll impact your store shelves soon. Well, when a problem like the cold weather in Texas pops up, it has um, an echo effect, if you will, like a pebble into a pond. Jack Ampuja is the executive director at the Center for Supply Chain Excellence at Niagara University. We're seeing the impact of that. Although we didn't have the problem here in Western New York, obviously we're being affected because of products coming up from Texas. So how do you prepare for something like that? But I think that companies are beginning to realize some of the inherent risk that they're dealing with. The footage you're seeing of manufacturing inside Comfort Plastics is from a story we did in 2017. Bob Comfort is the president of Comfort Plastics in North Tonawanda, and he says they're dealing with that risk directly, and his company has never faced a raw materials shortage like this. And we've gone to the point right now of declaring force majeure, which is basically washing our hands of contractual obligation when it comes to delivery time and prices because this is an act of God beyond us. And we've never done that in our 48 years of business. And that's with dealing with the blizzard of 77, oil embargoes, COVID, the Great Recession. Never had to declare that before, but we've done it because of this event. I mean, are people going to see shortages in stores of plastic goods? Consumers are definitely going to see a shortage in consumer goods, and that could be food stuff because the packaging is going to be missing. This could be Clorox wipes, things like that that are needed for cleaning up for COVID because you won't have containers in which to store them. Preferential treatment is always going to be that food processors, packagers, medical equipment, they get it before automotive, they get it before consumer goods. So we're going to end up being last, but you're going to see this trickle down through the economy over the course of the next two, three months. The electricity is already turned on in Texas, but uh, this is not going to be a one or two day recovery. It's going to be several weeks before things begin to smooth out. Confer says the impact of this storm might impact his business for the rest of the year. Reporting in North Tonawanda, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.